What you want for supper? Pork cube steak and gravy. Okay, so usually I like this recipe with beef cube steak. The pork is cheaper. I got 1.16 pounds for $5.73. So this is a budget friendly yet still delicious meal. Y'all come hang out with me while I make pork cube steak and gravy. Okay, so first things first, if they're bigger cube steaks, I like to, well, that's falling apart. I like to take it and cut it down the middle. This is just my preference. To me, it makes it more fun to eat. Um, and it's not just a big old slab of meat hanging out. I've got almost a Cool Whip bowl full of milk, and then I put one egg in it, a couple shakes of hot sauce, and whisk it up. Then we're just gonna pour this right on top of our cube steak. We're gonna cover this and let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. While we wait on our meat to soak, let's try our flavor of the day, Dollar Jerky Club. This the everything bagel. <laughs> I like that one. Mm hmm it's good. Good choice, y'all. Okay, so to my see-through mixing bowl, I've got flour, salt, a lot of black pepper. I'm gonna do some garlic powder and a little bit of voodoo. Give it a good mix our soaked cube steak now in the flour. We're just going to coat it. Do it gently because these are trying to fall apart. We've got our shallow pan with some oil. It's enough to cover the bottom plus some. Our oil is hot so we're just going to lay these cube steaks down in there. Do them for about two minutes on each side. And these don't have to be cooked all the way through because they're going to cook down in the gravy. And y'all when I say be careful with this meat I mean it. Like try to keep it in one piece as best as you can. This is what we are left with after you get done frying that. I'm going to pour some of this excess grease off. Okay, so to my grease, I'm going to add one finely sliced white onion. I'm going to add a little squirt of water just to help get these going. And cook them down for about 10 minutes. And y'all, as you cook, when you add more water, you see how it kind of makes like a gravy? That's because all the excess flour that was on those uh, little pork things, um, it falls into the bottom of the pan. So this looks good to me. I'm just gonna add my meat back in. Here I've got two cups of water. I've got one package of McCormick pork gravy and one package of McCormick au jus gravy. Mix it up as best you can to get all these little beads out. And we're just gonna go right on top of our meat with it. and a little bit more water or chicken broth. I don't care what you use. I don't know why y'all care what I use. Just cover it to the top. So we bring this to a simmer and then we're gonna turn it on low, cover it and let it do its thing for about 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Michael, put that down. One to ten. Probably a thirty. 